one of the cool things you can do in photo raw is you can actually do layered stuff, you know, like you would do in Photoshop, but you can right. do it inside of your raw processor. So let me just go grab a fun photo here that we can play with. No, 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 let's find one. Do, do, do. Here we go. All right. So here, this is shot with the iPhone wide angle shot. And you know, when you shoot wide angle, because you're trying to get something interesting in your foreground, all the stuff in the background gets really, really tiny. Well, there's an easy, easy trick for that, especially for a photo like this. I'm just going to take my original photo. I'm just going to make a copy of it. So now I've got two layers of it, right? I'm just going to grab that upper layer and I'm just going to grab my transform tool. Before I do that, I'm just going to make my canvas a little smaller here. So I have some more room to work with. And I'm just going to stretch this thing way out. And I'm just going to look at the horizon line here and the horizon line there. And I'll just line those guys up. Here we go. And then I'm just going to mask those two together. To do that, I'll just use a simple gradient mask. We call it the masking bug. Click. You turn it around here. Just the uh, line a little bit so we can get it where we like it. You. So there we go. Let me turn that on and off. So. Oh, yeah. Angle mountains. Much bigger mountains. Like you never know <laughs> that you cheated. You remember the old split field filter that you used to put on your camera that kind of did that, like the magnifying yeah. glass yep. at the bottom and yep. the open at the top? It's kind of the same thing, but done through the computer. So way easier. So, you know, on here, I might as well fix this crooked horizon because Lord knows I can't take a level photograph and I might as well get rid of this person that's kind of annoying over here, too. There we go. And let's make the whole thing look a little bit better by turning on brilliance. Uh, add a little bit more to the foreground. Maybe we'll add brilliance to the top as well so that the sky will get a little bit darker for us too. There you go. Just like that. So there you go. There's a quick way to combine essentially, you know, two copies of the same photo together to improve your composition.